Hi there, in this tutorial we're gonna be creating this beautiful opening slide for a PowerPoint presentation. I'll show you how to make this cutout text effect and then we'll animate the slide with the morph transition. And before we jump into the tutorial, please make sure you support my small channel by giving this video a like. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And now let's head over to PowerPoint. Open a new blank slide. We're gonna start by adding a background image. For that, right click on your slide and in the menu select Format Background. This will open up a Format Background pane over on the right hand side. And in the pane under the Fill section, we would need to click on Picture or Texture Fill. Then let's click this Insert button to change the image. This will open up the File Explorer. Just choose the image you want to use as the background for your slide and then click Insert. Perfect. Next, we need to create a simple rectangle. Navigate to the home ribbon and click on the shapes button. Then in the menu, you're going to want to choose the rectangle tool. Now click anywhere on the slide. This will create a rectangle. We need to change its size. Make sure the shape is still selected. Then once again, head over up top and in the shape formats ribbon, change the height property to 18 centimeters and width to 32 centimeters. If your PowerPoint uses other units, just make sure your rectangle looks similar to mine. Now let's move our rectangle over here so we can see it better. Then over on the right in the format shape pane we would want to remove its fill. And under the line section we need to change the color to white. We also need to change the width of the line. I'm gonna set it to 5 points. Let's also make sure the shape is positioned exactly in the center of the slide. And for that I'm gonna navigate up top and click this align button. Then in the menu I'm gonna choose align center. And then once again, open that menu and now select Align Middle. Great, now we need to add a drop shadow to the shape. I'm gonna go to the Format Shape pane over on the right and switch to the Shadow tab. Let's expand the Shadow section. Then we'll need to click on the Presses button. And in the menu, we're gonna need to select the first option which is outer bottom right. And now let's adjust some settings here. I'll set Transparency to 30%. Blur will be 12 points and distance I'm gonna change to 7 points. Alright, next we need to create a copy of that wireframe. Just select it and then while holding down your option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows, grab one of the sides and start pulling it. This will make a copy and then you'll need to place it right over the first shape so that we can see only the top one. Please make sure you don't skip this step, we're gonna use these two shapes to animate the slide. And once you're done with that, go to the top menu and switch to the home tab. Then in the home ribbon, once again, we're gonna wanna click on the shapes button and select the rectangle shape. Create a rectangle that will cover the left half of the slide. Then remove the outline. And under the fill section, I'm gonna change its color to white. And now we're ready to add text to the slide. I'm gonna switch to the home tab and in the ribbon I'll click on this text box tool. Then anywhere outside the slide I'm gonna create the first line of text. Then select this text and change its font to impact. Click the bold button and then set the size to 150. Also we would need to make sure it is aligned to the right side. For that click this button up here. And now move the text box onto the slide and place it like this. Alright, now let's make a second line. I'm just gonna copy the first one, it will allow me to preserve the styles. Update the text. And now make a third line. Then we'll need to make sure all three lines are aligned to the right side. And for that we'll need to select all three. And in the home ribbon over up top, open the align menu, go down to where it says align, and then click on the line right. And then let's also make sure that we have equal distance between each line of text. For that, once again, go to the arrange menu, hover over a line, and this time click on distribute vertically. Let me also position all three items closer to the right edge of the white rectangle. The next step would be to cut out each text box from the white rectangle. First we'll need to select it and then holding down the shift key I'm gonna select the first line of text. 
it is very important that you follow the same order, otherwise you might get a different result. Then I'm gonna navigate to the upper menu and switch to the shape format tab. Then in the menu over on the left side, I'm gonna click on merge shapes. And in the drop down, we'll need to select subtract. Alright, let me quickly do the same with the other lines of text. Next, we're gonna add shadow to the white shape that will give us more depth and make the text more readable. I'm gonna navigate to the shape format panel on the right hand side. Then in here, we'll need to switch to the shadow tab. Next, let's click on the presses button. And in the menu, I'm gonna choose the first shadow press it. And now we just need to adjust some of the values here. The transparency setting will be 40%. Blur I want to set to 17 points and distance to 20 points. And now we are ready to start animating our slide. We'll need to create a copy of the first slide. For that, jump over to the slides panel over on the left hand side. Put your cursor over the existing slide, then right click and in the menu select duplicate slide. Make sure it is now your active slide. What we want to do here is to give some rotation to the two white shapes that make a frame around the slide. So I'm going to select the top one and I want to bring it forward so that it's no longer hidden under the white shape with the text. In the upper menu switch to the shape format tab and in here click on the bring forward button several times. And now let me put my cursor over this rotation icon and pull it counterclockwise until it looks something like this. I want to adjust its placement a bit more. This would be enough. And now let's do the bottom shape. I'm going to rotate it to the opposite direction. Perfect. Next, we just need to apply Morph Transition to this slide. I'm going to switch to the Transitions tab over up top. And in the menu, I'll click on this Morph item. Let me also change the duration of the animation. One and a half seconds should be enough. And now we'll need to go back to the first slide and make some adjustments here. I want to bring forward the top frame so that it's placed above the white shape with text. And then we'll also need to move this item with the text outside the slide area. And the last thing I want to do here is to configure my first slide so that it would go to the second one automatically after some period of time. For that I'm gonna go to the transitions ribbon. And over on the right side, I'm gonna activate this after setting and change the timing to half second. And now let's run it full screen. Alright, as always, I hope you've learned something new. Please check my other tutorials on more cool stuff you can do in PowerPoint. Also, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you don't miss my new videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!